like children's toys. I just, let me open the garlic pepper. Why is this my day today? It's kind of funny to laugh at my misfortunes. I weighed in today and we are at the end of week two and I'm happy to announce that I lost three and a half more pounds so that's a little over 10 pounds in two weeks which is pretty cool I'm pretty encouraged I'm just having kind of a funky off day today so I feel good but I've got life stuff not anything big but just life stuff kind of stressing me out so anyway I think I'm gonna go to this really good vegan restaurant later and have something that feels really sinful. And I think that will make me feel good. And I think I should celebrate. Because that's a pretty big accomplishment. And I think you should give yourself little kudos on the, along the way. And as long as it's not too much, I think that could be a healthy, good thing. Yeah. Just have to be careful not to get off track because... I used to be the I used to be the person that would cheat one day and then it was just like a domino effect. So I got to be able, I got to I got to make sure that I have that in check. So something that scares me being where I am right now is that typically and I know what my body does and I know this process so well. Typically, once I've lost the first 10 pounds, everything slows down almost to a screeching halt on every diet I've ever done. So I'm hoping that that's not, I'm hoping that that's not the case this week. I, I'm trying to set my expectation. I'm trying to not have expectations. I'm trying to... get my mind right and even if I lose a pound just be like happy with a loss that's where I'm at right now with it so this last week was the 4th of July and I was not perfect so I had told you guys in the first video that what I was gonna try to do was not drink <laughs> and not exercise for the first two weeks because I didn't want it affecting calorie intake or my food or how I was feeling. Uh, yeah, so that didn't happen. So I did drink on the 4th of July. Yes, I did drink on the 4th of July. And I also ate some naughty things and it was stupid naughty things. Like I didn't cheat with the, a big juicy steak or a ginormous piece of cake or even the homemade ice cream that my dad made, which is definitely one of my Ugh, I just can't, I can't not eat homemade ice cream. It's like kryptonite to me. But I didn't eat it. What I cheated on was super silly stuff. It was good, don't get me wrong, but it was super silly stuff like the spinach dip and the corn dip. The corn dip with the cream cheese and the jalapenos and they take the Fritos and do the thing. And yeah, I did that. I did that. I cheated there. I actually drank a couple of different days. I actually drank a couple of different days. I did, okay, I admit it. I even tried to make conventional videos for you guys so that I could show you, but I did drink a couple of days I drank last night. Maybe that's why I'm like, Bleh. But it's just so hard when you associate I mean we kind of my husband and I kind of associate hanging out, hanging out and having a drink. When the kids go to bed, it's like our chill time, you know? So that's tough. That's a tough habit to break. But I, I didn't make it. So I didn't do that. I also didn't follow my non-exercise rule. So I get, okay, so here's why. Because I woke up, I woke up like on day eight or nine or something and I just had a whole bunch of energy. And I thought, I feel really good. So why don't I just go out and walk? slash jog so I so that's what I did I just walked jog I mean we're talking like a 14 15 minute mile it was you know I'm barely moving but it was nice outside 
because I went at like seven o'clock in the morning and it was really nice and I walked slash jogged for a couple days last week. So I did that, so it wasn't strenuous, but, and, th and that may be where I start, but I wanted to start incorporating that into my routine. But basically, even with a couple of mishaps and a couple of slip ups, just don't give me bagel chips and spinach dip. Like, don't put that there, you know? I just did not have the willpower. And another stupid thing that I did, that I do, that I did, when I'm making my kids food, do you guys do this? When I'm making my kids food, it, to just grab a handful of goldfish, like, it's so second nature to just be like, oh, I'm gonna just sit here and snack while I'm making them a sandwich or something. That's another one that's hard to break, but I almost feel like that's normal life. And, and the more normal you kind of keep in your routine, I think the better, because you don't want to, I don't want to feel restricted. You know, I don't want to feel like I can't have a handful of goldfish if I feel like it, you know? I don't even know if goldfish are vegan. It's not an easy road, but I feel like I'm navigating it okay, you know? And like I said, hopefully when I'm checking in next week, I'll have lost at least a pound. My goal is a pound, because right here, right at 156 is where I'm at, that's where my body likes to just go, oh, we're good, we'll stay right there, we'll stay right there at that weight. It's hard for me to bust into the 140s from the 150s, just historically. So I've been talking a lot about the weight loss portion of this versus how I feel and, um, and, and I can't help that. I think that that's because I've been losing weight my whole life. So that's where my head is today, you know? the losing weight part, but I do feel a lot better. I feel, um, I feel really good. I feel really good. I've been struggling to get vegetables in, uh, other than like making some soups. I made a really good um, butternut squash soup and a couple of other things. But other than that, it, it's hard for me to get whole vegetables, like without blending them up or hiding them in some way. Um, I've been doing my smoothies just to make sure I get, you know, a couple of cups of spinach or kale in. I don't know if this will make the video, but I have been regular in the bathroom, if you know what I'm trying to say, which is a really good thing. Um, and this is probably TMI for sure, but I am not a regular person. I mean, my husband makes fun of me because I can go like a week without going to the number two, you know, not number one or good there, but. And so I've been really regular and I think that's a good thing. That's something that's probably taboo to talk about or gross or whatever, but I think it's a good thing. So that's been good. So I guess I've been getting in enough fiber I don't know, or whatever it is that makes you go number two. No. I don't know. Uh, as far as like being busy, this particular week my boys are off of sports for the 4th of July week. It's kind of like a break. So I haven't really had a ton of, a ton of things to run around and go do. I did yesterday, well on Sunday, I prepped a few different things that I could grab. My, some oatmeal and... Uh, the ma some mashed potatoes, which I'm going to make for you today, which was my favorite thing that I ate last week. And um, you know, butternut squash soup. Some things like that that I would have ready to go. I made, I made homemade sushi for the first time. That was really cool. I wasn't supposed to do that right in the middle of me talking. <laughs> okay. Anyway. What are you doing? I'm doing body language. <laughs> body language. Cheating confessional. 
I don't know what it is about making your kids lunch. Do you guys do this? So, oh my God. Anyway, I'm making my kids lunch and I, whatever they're eating, I eat or I pick at. Ugh. Anyway, I just made them these butterfly shrimp that I knew were my weakness and I had three small, I had three of them. Could be worse, I guess. But anyway, it is week two, day four, and I had three butterfly shrimp. Confessional video number two, same day. I'm having a hard day apparently, but I'm having some alcohol. I should still end around 1200 calories, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. I'm not really counting calories, but I am gonna count today because I'm upset about cheating. I'm upset about cheating. I'm mad at myself. I'm gonna get right back on it tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna take tonight to just chill and have a drink. About to work, I'm taking Lulu to Miss Beth's house, grab my banana pancakes. I'm just kind of eating them like, Let's try something. Good morning, day five, week two. Happy first in July. What was that? I said happy birthday. No. July. Happy happy birthday, July. Happy fourth of July. Happy fourth day. <laughs> Confessional. Fourth of July. Having a few things I shouldn't have. And it's okay, but having fun with family too. which were uh, some mashed potatoes. Sounds very simple, and it actually is a very simple recipe. Uh, I got it from Hi Car Hannah, who is amazing. If you guys haven't seen her videos or anything that she's done, check her out. She is really cool, big inspiration through all this for me. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna start with two pounds of red potatoes, and you're just gonna cube them. Then what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna cook mine in the Instapot, and this is a little accessory for the Instapot. It doesn't come with it, you have to buy it separate, but it's a steamer basket. You're gonna put all your potatoes in the steamer basket. Okay, you're gonna put them all in the steamer basket, and then you're gonna put one cup of water in the bottom of the Instapot, and that's gonna steam these, and you're gonna wanna keep that on high for 12 minutes, high pressure, 12 minutes, and then you're gonna wanna let that cool for another 15 minutes after that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is mix together one cup of unsweetened soy milk with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then something that I add that Hannah doesn't add to hers is just some of this nutritional yeast, and I love this stuff. But um, it's the Bragg brand. And I love this brand, it's very, very good. And I just kind of do a handful of that too. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, uh, but in the Star Solution book, he talks about you're allowed to have salt and sugar. Don't, I mean, don't overdo it obviously, but if if it's gonna make something taste better, he want, you know, you wanna be encouraged to eat that food. You don't wanna feel like you're being restricted. So. You know, it's better to add a teaspoon of salt to a, your potatoes or, you know, sprinkle some. But he does tell you to add the sugar and salt after you've made your plate, not during the cooking process. So that's a tip there. Then I'm going to whisk this all together. Then 
Then you would add the juice of half of a lemon. I don't have a fresh lemon today, so I'm just gonna take some lemon juice and just add about what I think half of a lemon would be. And as soon as the potatoes come out, we're gonna add this to it and that'll be that. All right, so now I'm just gonna add our soy milk mixture to the potatoes. Bottle of teenagers. I say, give me a bottle. 